Hi guys, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video, I am going to discuss about some commonly asked Selenium interview questions for experienced candidates. Okay, under that, the first question here is how many test scripts do you write per day? Okay, the answer how we can explain means we can say that if the methods are designed, if the page functions are already designed, we can write 7 to 10 scripts per day. Okay, if there is only user interface verifications, that is UI verifications like we have to just verify the elements present on the web page or not. At the same time, we are doing just some assertion validations on the web pages. Okay, if this is the case, we can write hardly 8 to 12 scripts per day. Okay, so when we are telling a write means we can write test scripts and also we can execute the test scripts it will work okay it will work in the browser whatever the browser provided by the organizations or the application which is going to be supported on any particular browser so that we can design 8 to 10 scripts per day but if it is a big scenario if it is an end-to-end -end scenario then we can design only one or two maximum Okay, like starting from the home page till the last page. Let us say there is one application that is e-commerce application which is starting from login page, home page, product, description page, okay, cart page, after cart, there is some payment page, okay. If that is the case, which means end to end scenario, okay, if that is the case, we can design only one or two because the methods will not be ready at the same time we need to write the page functions and also we are going to call all these methods to run our test script okay in this way we have to explain for the first question that is how many test scripts do you write per day okay then the next question here is how many team members we have in your team okay the question here is how many team members we have in your team right so the answer here is in my company we are following agile methodology or you can say in my company we have smaller smaller teams and some persons will be responsible for functional testing for the automation and performance in my module okay in my scrum team there were seven members out of seven there are two QA engineers and two testers who are responsibility in starting from the functional testing to automate, to perform and finally delivering the product into market. Okay, in this way we have to explain how many team members we have in our team. Okay, so because nowadays each and every project is following agile methodology where in that particular team there will be uh, maximum seven or eight members in a team so you can segregate two members for QA two members for tester and two are for performance so likewise we can segregate and we can explain about the question that is called as how many team members we have in your team okay you have in your team so then the next question here is what is our next question that is is it possible to automate in a sprint okay is it possible to automate in a sprint so for this question the answer is yes these days companies are following agile methodology where generally they will follow a sprint of two weeks in the sprints we will get a new feature we need to first test the feature once there is no bug in the feature automated the feature then we are going to run the automating the script okay then we are going to run our automation script means the question answer here is yes these days companies are following agile methodology where generally they will make a sprint duration of two weeks or three weeks or four weeks based upon the requirements in the sprints we will get a new feature okay we need to first test the feature once there is no bug in the feature which we are automated then we are going to run our automation scripts okay that is the answer for the third question that is is it possible to automate in sprint okay then what is our next question here that is what are the challenges in automation 
okay so here the challenge i can tell you that is how do we write a method which should work irrespective of there is a changes in the ui okay how we can write a method which should work irrespective of there is a changes in the ui part okay in ui there are some changes is happening regularly irrespective of the changes how our method is going to be work we have to take it as a challenge and we need we can create a method accordingly and also to handling the dynamic objects like ids class or css selectors so this is also one challenge to handle this one and also how we can handle that challenge okay so here there are some selenium functions such as starts with function ends with function and also we have css function preceding function following function with the help of all these things we can handle the dynamic objects like whatever i have discussed those are ids or class or name or xpass any kind of thing okay any kind of element it is and also there is one more challenge the way you define the structure of your framework that is also one challenge so like whether our framework is good enough to accept any changes occurs like selenium versions to i mean from lower version to selenium uh, latest version which is coming in market and also which are available in the market so whether our framework is flexible or not we have to explain this as well okay during your interview we need to explain in this way so what are the different challenges we have faced in your automation right so and also there is one more question what are the challenges during the framework design okay what are the challenges during framework design okay so here the main challenge okay the main challenge during my framework design was to identifying the proper structure of the framework because usually what will happen whenever we get any application to be automate first we need to do i mean first we need to create a framework always saying that major challenge okay always say that it is a major challenge to create a framework right so where we are going to identify all the right components which will fulfill our current requirements as well as feature requirements because your framework will be flexible for that reason only our framework has to be flexible we don't know what features we are getting in future and current requirements how we are going to work okay during that time our framework must and should be in a flexible mode at the same time the major challenge what i have observed during my framework design is how we can write our libraries how we can write our page functions and also how we can write our listeners because when you are not very good in that okay because when you are not good i mean when you are not very good in that okay in that we are going to write okay in that we are going to writing some static methods and also we are going to make some uh, small small mistakes and also we are going to make some private methods okay so we have to know what exactly why we are making the changes and also why we are creating these methods using of private access modifiers and also using some static members and also we are using some default access modifiers why we are using that we have to know exactly okay and also these are all comes under the framework enhancement part or if there are any changes in our framework your script is not going to be compatible with that okay if i made any changes okay if i made any changes which is not the correct way so during that time my framework is not going to be compatible with my scripts okay that is a one more challenge and the next question here is how many automation scripts you have executed per day okay how many automation scripts you have executed per day means it will completely depends upon the scenario when we are doing end to end scenario when we are doing some integration part it will take more than one day of time right more than one day of time it will take if we are doing end to end scenario or if we are covering end to end scenario and also when we are doing some integration part and also it will also depends upon the how good framework we are following whether all the page libraries are ready or not 
and also whether we have written all the methods or not if everything is ready we can do mostly 10 to 15 per day we can execute mostly 10 to 15 test cases per day and also it will depends upon the organizations and also it is completely depends upon the framework how you designed your framework and also it is completely depends upon the page libraries what we are using okay and also sometimes you will get one more question that is how many scripts you have automated till day so during the time whatever we are going to tell that is always correct only you can tell him like 100 or, uh, or 150 or 200 or 500 or 1000 script then there won't be any issue but if you are telling 1000 test cases means at the same time you have to be very good I mean you have more number of years of experience okay you have more number of years of experience if you are telling more than 1000 number of test cases means okay so these are all the some commonly asked Cerulean interview questions if you like this video please drop a like and also please subscribe to my channel for more videos in upcoming days and also please share our videos to your friends or colleagues so that they will also learn what we are discussing currently and also your share will help this video to recommend for more people and also I would like to thankful for each and everyone who supported our last two videos especially how to crack serial name interview questions i mean interviews with an experienced candidate and also how to attend for an interview those details which are present inside your resume so those two videos i have uploaded before uploading this video i am really thankful for each and everyone i hope you people will continue the same for our upcoming videos as well okay thank you so much guys have a nice day signing off selenium tech automation we will connect with our upcoming videos thank you so much